What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been like 17 years since I posted a video. Um, had a real busy week, plus lightning had hit a tree at our house, and the power company had called me to tell me about the lightning. Sorry for all the background noise, by the way. Semi-truck passing, and a bunch of bugs in the tree this time of year, so they're hollering. But um, anyways, lightning struck a tree, and uh, the utility board had utility board had called me and told me I better come and check everything well it only ended up burning out a, um, a plug-in that the refrigerator is plugged up to but didn't hurt the refrigerator thankfully and I have LEDs up under our cabinets in our kitchen that turn on when you walk in the kitchen and it killed the little power box for those as well as the LEDs that I had put in the pantry and lo and behold it killed my camera battery charger I always leave it plugged up in the garage and uh, it fried it as well so today i finally got a charger in the mail thank you amazon prime that's for sure but uh, i'll show you the tree that the lightning hit real quick oh my goodness it sounds like a bunch of bugs are getting murdered out here but anyways if you look at this tree you can see where the lightning went down the tree and then i think right in here yeah it jumps to that other side and then runs on down and then splits out the bottom right here i don't know if we'll have to get this tree cut down it looks like it just um really hurt the the bark of the tree but i think that's just a knot yeah but uh it's pretty crazy what lightning done i've never seen lightning you know like what it's done up close but it for sure you can see it came out oh it looked like it may have did it all the way up can't really tell but anyways, that's what happened. The lightning struck the tree and it ran down. And I guess just the uh, the offput of that is what killed the few things in our house. But I uh, got the old Ford hooked up to this smoker I've been wiring. And I really wanted to do a full how-to on this, but I just don't have the time. Uh, I tried and after work, I only got about two or three hours, good hours to work on stuff. But um, so I'll show you the uh, finished product anyways. So this guy had called me about putting some lights on his smoker for when he does night jobs. And uh, so what I'd done is took some angle iron that was a half inch on one side and an inch on the other and put it right up there and painted it black and stuff and put that LED, um, you know, rope light, whatever you want to call it. And I know them LEDs have double-sided sticky tape, but I zip tied it about every foot just to ensure that it wouldn't start hanging down later and uh then i did that on both sides by the way as you can see i think it looks really clean and really nice most people probably would have just stuck it to that tin but all that double-sided sticky tape only holds for a short amount of time and then up here uh, he wanted some spotlights on his smoker when he's cooking at night so i put these six inch light bars these are the same light bars that are in my ford in here so what i had to do was i took a piece of angle iron and then i notched it right there and i took that notch and welded it on the top side of it uh, as you can see so i could get it off of this side enough so now i put a metal lock nut so it's got a real good tension to it but he can turn them he can swivel them however he wants so he can point both of them in his grill or he can point them on his serving table and then as you can see, I ran the, the braided uh, wire loom, which is really nice. And where the two wire looms met, you know, I widened into each other. So it's all really clean, you know, uh, everywhere as you look and everything's uh, really nice and heat shrunk. And uh, then it all runs to right here where it all comes down in two looms into this battery box right here. Now in the side of this battery box, let me get down here. Uh, it's got the two toggle switches and one controls the light bars one controls the LEDs and as you can see it's a little bit lit up even in this uh, you know midday Sun but um those waterproofs aren't or those toggle switches aren't waterproof but I think they'll be okay let me pop this bad boy open and uh, it's not the cleanest thing in the world but I made him a uh, battery hold down and what I done was screwed the box to the floor and then put that 2x4 in there that fit real tight and then screwed it to the floor and then I put these are actually 
the uh, studs that come with the carburetor kits and that performance kits that I buy for them go-karts. They come with these studs because I'm guessing on certain Predator engines like the non-Hemis, you have to swap out one of the uh, one of the carburetor studs with one of these. So I had two of them left over from two carb jobs I done, and I just uh, used a old light bracket actually and uh, bolted that battery down. And I'm going to get him some wing nuts to put on there so he don't have to use no tools um, to pull it off. But as you can see down in there, there's two relays that control everything. It really necessarily didn't need a relay on the LEDs, but uh, I wanted to do it really nice, so that's how I did it. You can see how I kind of distributed the power. I ran a, a main 10 gauge down to a, uh, a bolt and then distributed everything off of it. Uh, not the cleanest thing in the world in the box, but it will do for me. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Um, I kind of overdo all my work, and some of that stuff that I kind of overdone wasn't really necessary, but if I'm putting my name on it, I, of course, want it to be as clean as possible. So, uh, hope y'all like that light job. I wish I could have showed you. I'll do a video soon because I'm about to put some lights on my old Ford. If you can see it behind that smoker, I'm uh, going to put some backup lights on it, flush mounted in the bumper. So, I'll show you how to wire up a relay and everything and how to wire up fog lights properly because if you wire fog lights so the toggle switch is controlling all the power, then you'll end up catching your vehicle on fire. I've seen it happen many a times. And as you can see, it looks like a bomb exploded in my garage. This is getting ridiculous. Of course, we still haven't touched our landscaping. It's been torn apart. I finally put that beam up on the porch, but I still got to build a handrail and then put that gutter back up. And then we got to put our edging stones and dig up some of that dirt. We're not leaving that uh, corner right there. We're not leaving it as uh, sharp of a 90 degrees. We're going to swoop it kind of. So we definitely got a lot of stuff to do. So my garage is kind of exploding outward i got a go-kart frame over there that needs some welding done on it and uh, now that i got my welder i can do all this stuff but yeah you can see that just got junk everywhere's stuff piled up upon stuff so i think um at the end of this week i'll finally get time to clean all this junk i got old skittles up on the workbench still i got the motor done um, I just forgot to check inside to make sure I got all the washers when I pulled that governor off. And I cannot remember for the life of me. So now we got to pull that motor back apart and make sure we did that. So as soon as the Skittles is running, we'll have two go-karts running because Little Red is running. And then uh, back to my daughter's go-kart. It runs perfectly fine. It just needs that brake addressed. If you remember, that's the, the kind of brake setup. I know it looks kind of crazy, but that's how we set it up but um it's going to be even crazier if we put a return spring on that so what i'm going to do is pull all that off cut it all off and uh weld the bracket on for the hydraulic brake and uh still be able to use that disc and then we got to start addressing the uh the front end and getting new shocks for it new bushings for the wheels and then uh, i'm going to go ahead and get new bolts for all the uh the a arms and stuff and get the a arm over here that was originally bent, which I've got the, the bend out of it quite a bit, uh, just to ride it a little bit, but we're definitely gonna rebuild that um, to match the other side. So yeah, we got junk everywhere. There's the motor that I finally got to build for my go-kart. Um, finally got it done. It's got the fuel pump on it and uh, branded that bad boy. How y'all like those new stickers? And then of course, um, I branded the the engine plate. I will be making a video on how to make these engine plates work on a Hemi Predator because they're more designed for the uh, older style, you know, Harbor Freight motors. Maybe the non Hemi it may work on, but you got to bend these feet out a little bit and the front out, if you can tell. You got to bend that out at a slant to make that fit. Uh, and another thing I found out that welding rod is perfect to make throttle linkages. So what I done was went and bought this big tube of uh, welding rod. 330 seconds and it's like perfect stiffness and everything and now I can bend my own throttle rods however I like them but yeah guys let me know what y'all think of the uh, the motor I already got the torque converter on there and everything and there will be a video on how to install a torque converter just for the people that doesn't know how um, but yeah let me know what y'all think about this motor I really like it branded all out with the uh, red beards garage stuff and uh, not sure we're probably going to fully build that engine too just not right now i don't have all the parts for it and i don't feel like spending no more money 
uh, as of right now. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm sweating like a little pig, and I probably am going to do some brakes on the 2013 F-150 tonight, probably just the front brakes. He's got real bad brake shake in my father-in-law's truck, so uh, if we do that, I'll pull the camera out again when we get that truck here. And what do you know, though, Tahoe needs a water pump as well. Keeps it leaking coolant, and we're going to go pick up my father-in-law's truck right now to uh, do the brake job. How do you feel about that? Mm, a little camera shot. But um, I'll pull the camera out when we get home and we'll start doing the brakes. Okay, we got my father-in-law's truck here and uh, we're gonna grab my jack and jack stands, get this front end up and start with the driver's side. Looks like he is a pretty classy fella. Look at that sticker all on there, crooked and whatnot. So uh, let's grab the impact jack and jack stands and let's get this tire removed. Okay, I'm doing these brakes uh, the old school style outside in the driveway with an old school light. So um, let me grab the light and pull it over here. You really can't see a whole lot. So when doing brakes, if you're, uh, if you're just doing the pads, if you're just doing the pads, then you can just take this bolt and the uh, one that matches it on the lower side off and the caliper will actually pull off from the caliper assembly and then you can uh, zip tie it up on the suspension somewheres but we're done rotors too so we're going to go ahead and pull this 21 millimeter nut off and the one the lower one that matches it and as well as these right here we're going to pull these off first pull the caliper up and zip tie it out of the way and then take these 21 millimeters off okay we got those two caliper mount bolts out right there and right there so that lets this pad housing or this caliper mount slide right off um, as you can see and as you can see she goes on like so so we pulled that off now we just slide the new rotor on and I'm gonna put two lug nuts to hold the rotor onto the hub and then uh, I'm gonna go around both sides of the rotor cleaning it really well with uh, brake cleaner to get all that grease and uh, grime off the uh, rotor and then we can put the caliper mount on slide the pads in and then slide the caliper on and remount it back and then we're golden Welp YouTube this is a pain in the A <clears throat> so I'm not showing you the rest of the brake job on the F-150 because I originally already did the driver side so I was going to film the passenger side and um, so I showed you you know after I got everything taken off when to put the new rotor on and once the rotor fit and everything like uh, lug pattern wise but once you push it all the way up on there and tighten the lug nuts down I always put two lug nuts on the rotor to hold it on the hub where I can put the brake pads and caliper back on well the rotor wouldn't turn when I did that so sure enough I looked at the two rotor boxes uh, the one I'd already put on and the one I was trying to put on and of course there was two different part numbers so that means that Napa had given me uh, one wrong brake and I'm telling you, this is the most frustrating thing that pisses me off. This has happened, this is the third time, not on brakes, but once it was an oil filter, the next time I got nine lug nuts and seven of them was the wrong, was right hand, uh, was left hand thread, which is ridiculous. So unfortunately I won't be able to finish the truck tonight. And I don't think I'm going to work on no go-karts tonight, I'm just beat. I finished that smoker that I showed you tonight and then uh, jumped on my father-in-law's brakes and... I'm going to throw this video up tomorrow and then film. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more done on Skittles tomorrow. Hopefully get everything done on Skittles, but I'm not sure. I got church tomorrow, so we'll see how everything goes. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please check me out on Facebook. And guys, uh, share this page if you can. Tell your friends. Let's get this page out there. I can't believe that we're up to like 1,700 subscribers. We gained 700 subscribers in a hair over a week. That is That blows my mind. I can't thank you guys enough. This is awesome. We're going to have a lot of how-to videos on the Predators coming out. And hopefully a lot of riding these go-karts very soon. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of them running so me and my friends can do a huge rip snot video. So, uh, we'll hit puberty just then. <laughs> but uh, don't forget to check out my other videos, guys. And thanks for watching. This is Redbeard's Garage, and I'm out.